standard seven. Sir. Just a minute. Standard seven, science chapter number six, physical and chemical changes. Every day you come across many changes in your surrounding. These changes may involve one or more substance. For example, your mother may ask you to dissolve sugar in water to make a cold drink. Change. Similarly, setting curd from milk is a change. Sometimes milk becomes sour. Souring of milk is a change. Stretch rubber band also represents a change. Make a list of 10 changes you have noticed around you. In this chapter, we will perform some activities and study the nature of these changes Broadly, these changes are of two kinds, physical and chemical changes. Now, let's first change physical change. Koi ek piece of paper jai. Ta mene cut kari ne nana piece kari na ko. Ta physical change jai. Cut the piece of paper in four square. Cut each square piece further into four square pieces. Lay these pieces on the floor or a table so that the pieces acquire the shape of the original piece of paper. Obviously, you cannot join the pieces back to make the original piece, but is there a change in the property of the paper? Collect the chalk dust lying on the floor near the chalkboard in your classroom classroom, or crush a small piece of chalk into dust. Like chalk oil and a gasine dust powdery, right? Add a little water to the dust to make a paste. Pani add karine paste panao. Roll it into the paper of a piece of chalk. Now, did you recover chalk from the dust? Emaji bane karo pacho fari vakat na. It lay an irreversible and irreversible change given. It lay a quacket, uh, we to high, gong. Emadi roti the earth, but the Emadi pacha gong reverse naja. It lay some changes are reversible, some are not reversible. Let's see. Reversible and irreversible changes. In our day-to-day -day life, we come across different changes. For example, melting of ice, formation of curd from milk, dissolving salt in water, breaking of glass, growth of plant, ripening of fruits, blowing of air in balloon, etc. Basically, a change means the act which brings difference in the form of material or thing. The differences takes place by themselves or these are bring out by living organism. Some of the changes can be reversed, that is, the changes can be undone. Such changes are called reversible changes. For example, we can convert water back into ice by keeping it in refrigerator. 
We can separate the salt and water by evaporation. If we release air from the balloon, then it regains its shape. These are all reversible changes. There are other changes which cannot be reversed. That is, changes are permanent and cannot be undone. Such changes are called irreversible changes. For example, formation of curd from milk, breaking of glass, growth of plant, reduction in height of lighted candle, etc. Such changes are irreversible changes. Identify the reversible and irreversible changes from the given examples. See empty Out water. Out of the given examples, reversible changes are emptying water from a bottle into mug, expansion of balloon and opening of door. The irreversible changes are burning of matchstick, rusting of iron and bud to flower. So I hope you have understood all the concepts in this video very well. Thanks for watching this video. Do visit learnfortafford.com to understand the concepts in the best way and real quick. The course of your choice is available in variety of formats. Choose the one which fulfill all your learning needs. Okay. Now, take a, some ice in a glass or a plastic tumbler. Melt a small proportion of ice by placing a tumbler in the sun. You may now mix, uh, you have now a mixture of ice and water. Now place the tumbler in freezing mixture. Ice plus common salt. Does the water become solid? Ice once again? Yes, absolutely. 6.4 activity. Boil some water in a container. Do you see the steam rising from the surface of the water? Hold an inverted pan. It will any parek dish mukido. The badu evaporate thali air patchy water ma convert a droplet of water ma. So a reversible change. 6.5 Hold a, a used exo blade with a pair of tongue. And a pocket one is exo blade at the Janati Pilu wood kappa mave a. Keep the tip of the free end of the blade on the gas stove. Wait for a few minutes. Does the color of the tip of the blade change? Blade ready stages. Remove the blade from the bl flame. Observe the tip once again after some time. Pachi normal, original color. So activity 6.1 and 6.2, you saw that paper and piece of chalk underwent changes in size. In activity 6.3 and 4, water changed its state from solid to liquid and from uh, gas to liquid. And 6.5, exoblade changes color on heating. Properties such as shape, Size, color, and state of substance are called its physical property. Jay no roop badle, and no shape badle, any size badle, and no color badle, and no form badle, liquid solid, right? That is physical property. A change in which a substance undergoes a change in its physical property is called a physical change. A physical change is generally reversible. In such a change, no new substance is formed. Let us now consider the other kind of change. Chemical. A change with which you are quite familiar is a rusting of iron. If you leave a piece of iron in the open for some time, it acquires a film of brownish substance. This substance is called rust and the process is called rusting. Iron gates of parks or farmlands Iron bench, benches kept in lawns and garden, almost every article of iron kept in the open get, gets rusted. At home, you must have seen shovels and spades getting rusted when exposed to the atmosphere for some time. So in the kitchen, a wet iron pan, 
often gets rusted if left in a state for some time. Ela kat lagi jai. Jen apne rust kahiye. Rust is not iron. It is different from iron on which it gets deposited. Let us see physical and chemical changes. Grammarly can help you write quickly and confidently. on changing this is physical change ice water and vapor
Okay. So these are all example of chemical, chemical physical and physical change. change. Yes. Now, to be demonstrated by teacher, get a small piece of thin strip or a ribbon of magnesium, clean it, its tip with a sandpaper, bring the tip near a candle flame, it burns with a brilliant white light. We can do this experiment. Haven't we done this? Any time before? No, sir. Okay, we'll do today. So when it is completely burned, it leaves behind a powdery ash. Does the ash look like a magnesium ribbon? No. It's a magnesium oxide powder. Mg plus O2 will give a magnesium oxide. Collect the ash, ash and mix it with a small amount of water. Stir the mixture, aqueous solution. Taste the Mixture with blue and red litmus paper. It will turn into base. The mixture turn red litmus blue. Does the mixture turn blue to red? On the basis of this test, how do you classify the aqueous solution? Acidic or basic? It's purely basic. So on dissolving the ash in water, it forms a new substance. This change can be written in the form of following equation magnesium oxide mgo plus water h2o it will form magnesium hydroxide mgoh twice it is read as twice now as you have already learned in chapter 5 magnesium hydroxide is a base so magnesium oxide is a new substance formed on burning of magnesium magnesium hydroxide is another new substance formed by mixing magnesium oxide with water just a minute Now, activity 6.7 to be demonstrated by the teacher. Dissolve about a teaspoonful of copper sulfate that is blue white troll or nila thota in about half a cup of water in a glass, tubular or beaker. Add a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid to a solution. You should get a blue colored solution. Save a small sample of solution in a test tube or a small glass bottle. Drop a nail or, or a used shaving blade into the remaining solution. Wait for half an hour or so. Observe the color of the solution. Compare it with the color of the sample solution saved separately. Do you see any change in color? Yes, it will turn to green. Take out the nail or a blade. Has it changed in the color? Yes, a copper is Copper and a bride. The change that you notice are due to the reaction between copper sulfate and iron. The changes of color of solution from blue to green is due to the formation of iron sulfate, a new substance. The brown deposit on the iron nail is a copper, another new substance. We can write the reaction. Copper sulfate solution plus iron will give iron sulfate plus copper deposited. Right? Let's see these two activities.
first burning of magnesium ribbon hello scientific people how are you today so today i'm going to show you the demonstration of a chemical reaction that is burning of magnesium so here i have a strip of magnesium which is cut from the magnesium ribbon so this is the magnesium ribbon and this is bunsen's burner and a watch glass in which i am going to collect the magnesium oxide which is white in color these are the pair of tongs so when magnesium reacts with oxygen it requires heat energy and after initiating the re uh, this reaction you will see that the magnesium burns in presence of oxygen to form magnesium oxide and magnesium burns in oxygen with a brilliant white flame that is called a dazzling white flame very difficult to see that so let's try the experiment and here i am going to hold this magnesium ribbon actually we don't require a very big piece of magnesium it's very handy you can even break it with your own hands so i choose to put all other things aside as you can see that magnesium burns with a dazzling white flame now as the reaction is completed you can see that this white color thing is is being produced this white color is nothing but magnesium oxide even let's try to break it this is white color powder this white color powder is nothing but magnesium oxide so as you saw that magnesium burns with dazzling white flame so hopefully guys you have enjoyed the explanation if you are not subscribed to my channel please do that let us try to find out if metallic oxides are acidic or basic in nature let us do a small experiment to see this for this we need magnesium wire which is a metal water red and blue litmus paper a petri dish dropper spirit lamp matchbox and a pair of tongs light the spirit lamp first now hold the magnesium wire with the tongs and bring the ribbon to the flame observe that the magnesium burns with a bright white light as it burns an ash like powdery substance is formed this is magnesium oxide collect the powder in a petri dish and dissolve it in water take a drop of this solution and place it on the red and blue litmus papers observe the change in the color of the litmus papers We observe that red litmus turns blue while blue litmus remains the same. What does this indicate? The oxide of magnesium is basic in nature. From this we can infer that the oxides of metals are basic in nature. When metal oxides are dissolved in water, the metal ions react with water and form hydroxide ions which makes the solution basic. Why don't you collect some rust or some epsom salt and try to do this experiment Now next reaction of copper sulfate with iron nail
one of the most common errors to occur in common entrance chemistry is in describing the reaction between copper sulfate solution and iron, in this case in the form of a nail. If I place a small amount of copper sulfate solution into this beaker and place the iron nail into the solution for a few seconds, a reaction takes place. The nail soon becomes coated with a pinkish brown deposit. When this is mentioned in common entrance questions, the mention of a brown solid in conjunction with iron often leads candidates to think that this brown deposit is rust. However, this is not correct. Iron, being more reactive than copper, displaces the copper from the copper sulphate solution. The brown coating on the nail is copper. If this reaction is left to proceed for several hours, a large amount of copper is displaced from the copper sulphate solution and iron takes its place to form iron sulphate solution which is the green colour that you can see in this beaker. Clear? Both of you? Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay, we are stopping here. Okay. Bye. Bye.